Hello and welcome to Sex with Paula. I'm Nurse Paula, a sexual health nurse and educator. Buckle up, vagina owners, and get ready to talk about douches, wipes, and sprays that promise to leave your vagina smelling like a tropical romance or a supple breeze. If any of that made you go, huh? What? I don't... Don't worry, we're just getting started. Like many parts of the body, and I do mean many, the vagina contains a balance of both beneficial and harmful bacteria. Consider it an ecosystem of equilibrium full of trees and fresh air and... No, actually no. I'm sick of having my vagina compared to a beautiful, flowery meadow. Picture your vagina as one of those massive self-cleaning ovens. Except instead of heat, the vagina uses bacteria to create an acidic environment that destroys infection. A healthy vagina is very clean because it produces a mucus that flushes away unwanted bodily fluids like menstrual tissue and semen or discharge. Let's see your oven do that. <sighs> Amateur. If you're asking yourself, but where does douching come in? Don't worry, so are most doctors. A douche is a mix of water, vinegar, and baking soda or iodine in a bag or a bottle ready to squirt away the dirt with promises of cleaning your vagina. But why? A vagina isn't dirty. Natural functions like menstruation and discharge are not embarrassing. Most doctors recommend that you do not douche. No douching, as the practice of douching can upset the balance of vaginal flora and leave you with a yeast infection or bacterial vaginosis, which is not very comfortable. I also caution you against sprays or wipes that aim to reduce odor and or dampness as they can cause the sensitive and naturally moist skin of the vagina and vulva to lose healthy moisture and become irritated due to added fragrances. So why are these products still in circulation? Maybe because Health Canada and the FDA label douches and vaginal cleansers as cosmetic items. Does this mean lipstick can go on my... No! That means that these products are designed to make your vagina more attractive without having to have any sort of hygienic value. That's just garbage. The best practice for cleaning your genitals, regardless of the bits you got, is a mild soap and water on the outside, but don't put anything inside your vagina, or your butt for that matter. Cotton underpants also go a long way in keeping your bits, junk, genitals happy. Two other tips. Wear full bum underwear and avoid thongs because the tea back rides between your anus and your vulva and transfers bacteria. And then at night, sleep without underwear on. Let it breathe. If you have any more questions, email me at sexwithpaula at gmail.com. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and please leave me some messages in the comment section below. Ugh. <sighs>